Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads, and welcome to another Whimsical Wednesday story time. So boys and girls, today I have a very special guest with us today. She's not from City Libraries, but she's a very avid reader. She loves reading and she loves storytelling. I've been following her during this period on Facebook and her name is Melanie Lippert, but she is known as the Story Ninja. And she's come all the way to Lansdowne Library today to read her favorite story just for you. Are you excited? Yes, me too. I'm so excited. So I'm going to hand over to Melanie as she reads her favorite story just for you today. Before I go, don't forget to switch on your good ears. Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick, chick. And let's enjoy today's story. Hello, boys and girls. Well, I am the story ninja, as Auntie T said. But you're probably curious about why the story ninja. Well, I do know that ninjas are really good and excellent at what they do. I'm good at storytelling and reading books, just like you. So all boys and girls who are good at listening and reading are definitely also my listening ninjas. Well, I do have a story for you today. This one is called Papa Lucky's Shadow. And our book has been written and illustrated by a local author, well, illustrator and artist. So let's find out what's happening inside, because I'm sure you'd love to know about this shadow. So let's get started. It's always exciting to open up a book with beautiful pictures. Well, let's get a little peek. Let's meet Papa Lucky. Papa Lucky was a great mover. Well, when he was young, he could dance the sequence of a champ. <gasps> wow! Well, then he met Grandma. He put his dancing shoes away and took a steady job with Spare Hands Moving Company. But Ma says, Papa Lucky never stopped dancing. Whenever music touched his ears, his feet would tap, 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 and his fingers would snap, snap, snap. I'm sure you'd like to see what Papa Lucky looked like as he was working and dancing. Oh, wow, I'd wish I could be dancing with Papa Lucky right now, don't you? Well, when Grandma died, oh, Papa Lucky came to live with us. He got out his dancing shoes, had new steel caps fitted, and started talking about the old times again. Maybe he could earn some money with his dancing. And Ma said, what? You crazy? What will you la look like dancing in the street? Papa Lucky looked her straight in the eye and said, Angel, I was hot footing long before you were born. And besides, these shoes are far from worn out. Let's have a look at these shoes, these gorgeous dancing shoes. I believe Papa Lucky that those shoes are far from worn out. Let's find out. Papa Lucky bought himself a real cool tape player. Hmm. Then he went around to the pensioners club and taped some music that he and his buddy used to play in the old days. Papa Lucky practiced every morning in the yard. The soft shoe shuffle, the slide, the madison. Oh goodness, and I was put in charge of the music. And I got to know some of the golden oldies really, really well. Ma didn't like it at all, and she shook her head. But I, I thought Papa Lucky was great. Oh, let's just see this music being recorded. The old fashioned way. Papa Lucky practicing in the backyard. All sounds like fun and excitement. Well, sometimes we played me and my shadow. And I would be Papa Lucky's shadow. Mm -hmm. And hanging out the washing, Ma would yell, don't go put silly ideas in that girl's head, old man. I don't think that was any silly ideas. 
This sounded absolutely awesome. Oh goodness, Papa Lucky said I could be his hat girl and that we'd find a good place for our act in the city where money walks and money talks. So early before the shoppers hit the streets, Papa Lucky and I set up the tape layer on the pavement in front of a very fancy store. Sugar, you keep an eye on the hat and the coins that roll and I'll see to the rest, said Papa Lucky, tying his red shoelaces in a double knot. Ah, they're getting started. Then Papa Lucky danced. Oh my goodness, remember the shuffle, the slides, the Madison. Aha, Papa Lucky having so much fun. People stopped to look. Some threw coins. Some of the coins blinked into the hat, but others I had to chase. Some shoppers shook their heads just like Ma. Mm -mm -mm. Some smiled and moved in slow time to me and my shadow. As Papa Lucky hot-footed it over the city pavement. Well, sometimes Papa Lucky got just a little bit tired and dizzy. And then we'd sit down and take five. At least Papa Lucky knew when it was time to have a little break. Later on the bus, going home, Papa Lucky counted the coins. Mmm, there were new ones and old ones, and among them all, mm, a couple of bottle caps. Let's have a look at all of these. I see plenty, plenty of coins. Do you? Well, when they arrived at home, Papa Lucky had bought Ma a deluxe steam iron that had five different temperature settings. Rather fancy, eh? Well, this is what he tells Ma. Now you can stop shaking your head like I'm a crazy old man, he teased. <laughs> and Ma just smiled and said, as long as you don't go putting any ideas into the girl's head. Papa Lucky looked at me and winked. Let's just have a look. Do you see Ma's fancy iron over here? Oh, let's see. The next day, before the pensioners club party, Papa Lucky nailed a couple of bottle tops under my old school shoes. But shh, we didn't tell more. What do you think is going to happen now? <gasps> With these bottle caps beneath my shoes? Well, go sugar, go! Papa Lucky laughed. His feet jibed and bamboozled, but I didn't miss a trick. And oh, let's have a look. That's what it's like being Papa Lucky's shadow. So let's see, is this the end of our story? I'm usually sad when I get to the end. But yes, this is the end of Papa Lucky's shadow. And I'm sure this has inspired you to whip out those dancing shoes, put on some music, do a shuffle and a slide and have a fun time. So boys and girls, before we wrap up, or let me say our listening ninjas, there's one or two things we need to remember just before we say our goodbyes. Oh, yes. We always need to be remembered to be sanitizing our hands with a ps 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 and a ps ps ps. And plenty of washing with soap and water, really, really thoroughly, all around and in between. And of course, when we are out and about in public, we always need to wear our ninja masks and keep our safe distance. So from me to you, and for the love of stories, goodbye. <laughs>